Today, we're going to talk about how to add source protection to portions of our PLC code or add on instructions. Previously, we created an add on instruction for our Scalance Ethernet switch that took these raw values and turned them into nice text tags to tell us the state of our power source and the ports on our Ethernet switch. And the next question you usually ask me is, well, how can I source protect this? That way I can share it with others. Now, I started to go through a whole long thing about when you should source protect, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to make a video soon that I, I'm actually going to, I'm not even going to argue. I'm just going to tell you that if you are source protecting your code, you're really just in the wrong company culture. You're not even at a forward thinking company, but I'm not going to leave that in here. I'm just going to say for this one, I want you to think about should you source protect your code? And if you do source to protect your code, what are you hoping to gain by not making it viewable to the end user? So let's talk through some things on that. One, we need to enable some source protection. So for this, in fact, let's just go and go offline. We won't need to be online for this. And we have our scalance add-on instruction. And that is what we're mostly going to work with here. And if we go up to tools, then we're going to have security and we have configure source protection. And the first thing we've got to do is tell it, where are your source protection keys? And so we're going to click source key configuration. And notice it says does not exist. So we have to have a source key provider if we're going to do this type of protection. So we're going to specify and I'm going to leave it at its default of just documents. And we're going to click OK. And it's going to say source key file does not exist. Create a new. And yes. And it's that simple to create a source key. Now, once you create this source key, you're going to need to keep those keys backed up somewhere. And then what do we want to source protect? Well, I want to source protect this scale. It's add on instruction. And so we're going to protect it. And we could use a license source, but we're going to use a source key. And then it asks, what do you want to apply? Well, I have no keys in here yet. So I'm just going to put for my key, subscribe. And if you're not sure if you type it right, that's what you have this for. So now we can see for sure that we typed it correctly. And this will be to YouTube. So hopefully that gives you a subtle hint to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Notice this box is not checked. Let's leave it just like this because this is what a lot of people do. And I would love to think they do it because they don't realize that this box is available. So we're going to click OK to that and we're done. We'll hit close. And so right now that did nothing. We can still double click on this. We can go to parameters. We can go to local tags. We can double click on our logic and that'll open up our logic. Everything works perfectly fine. Now, that's because we still have our source key in there. So now let's go back to security, source protection. And down here on our source key, I'm going to change my location of the source key. So I'm going to hit specify. I'm going to browse. And I'm just going to stick one in downloads here. Click OK. And we click OK. All right, and mainly, you see right now, source protection. These say unprotected. This says to YouTube, and it's scalex is inside of it. So when I create this, and then we click close, now all of a sudden it says unknown protection. And if you notice at that moment, our little arrow by here in our logic went away. So now if we go close on this, and we try to open up our scalex instruction, it's going to say source not available. And there is no, usually there's a logic button here. The logic button is missing. And if we go over here to our main routine and we try to look into this, we're going to see that it's grayed out. We can't even get into this thing now. And so that means that somebody has made an instruction that has source protection enabled. And they've not checked that view box. So now let's go back to tools, security, source protection. And we're going to hit our source configuration key. Because one, notice even here, if I try to unprotect this, 
it says no permission to access because I don't have the right key. So I hit configuration key and we're going to go back to the one that we had in our documents. And then watch when I click the close button here, what happens? And actually, since I have this open, watch the scale and over here as I do this. All of a sudden it says to YouTube here and our arrow came back right here. And so now I can highlight this. We can hit protect. We're still gonna protect it with a source key. And now since I created that, I have a source key name to YouTube. And if we click there, it checks us, it's subscribed to YouTube. Hit it again. And now allow viewing of components. And we're gonna click OK. And we're gonna click close. And then at least from this point of view, Everything is exactly back because we have the source key on our source protection. Now, if we go right back over here, tools, security, and go back to configure, we're going to change the location of our source back to the downloads. And click OK and close. And notice as I hit close, we're back to unknown again. Only this time, that's we have an error, we can get to the logic still. And so we double click, we can view the logic now. Now, if I highlight a bunch of wrongs and try to delete, I can't do anything in it. But now we've made one where people can still download our instruction. They can still install it. It can still be well documented, but if they're curious or they have an issue, they can open it up, view it and troubleshoot it. And I have looked in a lot of your even well-written add-on instructions. And I haven't yet to see one that I would say there is any reason not to let somebody view. So there's my spill on source protection. And now that we know about the source protection, we're going to talk about how to troubleshoot an add-on instruction. So click here to learn about that.